financial camera portland riverfront downtown portland it's beautiful and it's beautiful in here too happy oscars monday i'm trey renee and we've got a great show for you kicking it off with two very beautiful ladies to have some fun after last night's academy awards kara mack is here along with fashion expert and personal stylist robin you're awesome thank I you i love your suit you ladies look awesome thank <laughs> you no, 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 no. you clearly <laughs> are on point because i saw so much green Yes. On the red carpet yes. last night. And and clearly you know what you're doing. Yes. Like this. And I, and I, thank you. That, that's from my grandmother. So this is vintage. Really? Yeah, and this is vintage for my grandmother. All my jewelry. So yes. Very a little, nice. A little, Very nice. Yeah, nod to that as well. Okay, so I hope you guys are ready for this because right. last night was huge. So okay. many people watching the ninety second Academy Awards with no host, but kind of with hosts. Right. Yeah. What was going on here? They had the, the no that, host. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. did that last year and it worked well. So I think they were like, let's really go for it this year. Because last year it was kind of like, oh, we got to figure out what we're going to do <laughs> yeah. for our host. Because right. I decided not to do it. Well, yeah. But, uh -huh. yeah. But, but, and, and I think Chris Rock, who was like, who was there with Steve Martin, yes. explains a little bit why. You know, I was thinking today, Chris, that we both have hosted the Oscars before. And this is such an incredible demotion. <laughs> They don't really have posts anymore. Why is that? Twitter! <laughs> Man, everybody's got an embarrassing tweet. So I know I do. He's yeah. right. Yeah. He's right. Yeah. That's what yeah. happened. Social media ruined the host for the Oscars. Yeah. For the Oscars. Yeah. But I will say, I, I love this one joke that Chris Rock said. Let's see if we can get that. Cynthia Herbio is here tonight. Yes! Cynthia Herbio is here tonight. Cynthia did such a great job with Harriet hiding black people that the Academy got her to hide all the black nominees. <laughs> Is Eddie Murphy under the stage? <laughs> Eddie, I love you in Dolomite. I feel like people weren't quite sure how to, if they should laugh or yeah. not, but I had tears in my eyes watching at home. I thought that was hilarious. I thought it was clever. Stunning, too. Oh. So good. Oh and so then, oh, so staying on this no host host yeah. theme, then you had Maya Rudolph mm -hmm. and Kristen Wiig. Yes. Hilarious. Let's take a look at them. I took it off. <laughs> I'm steamed. I, you know what? I can't do this here. We're sorry. We're, we're too upset. We're too upset to do this. Huh? Sorry. <laughs> guys, guys. We're not mad. Oh. That was an act. Yeah. <laughs> we were acting. <laughs> we just know there are a lot of Directors here tonight. And I just wanted them to know we we do more than comedy. <laughs> oh, that was my line. Well, I guess it's mine now, son. How would you know? You were always gone when I was a kid. Acting. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good. I love those two right, together. Was really good. Good. Although I think we're going to talk a little bit about how they look yes. together. A little story. Different story. Different story. But now it's never seen them. They, <laughs> But we'll talk about okay. that in a bit. Okay, good. Let's talk about the big winners of the night. Yeah. The entire Parasite crew. Oh my gosh, they won big. They uh, swept. Four, four Oscars. Yeah. And the big ones. Oh, they won the big ones. I know. Yeah. And and how funny was the uh, director Bong Joon Ho when he was talking and accepting <laughs> the speech? Do we have that? Uh, great. Thank you. Thank you. And yeah, I'm ready ready to drink tonight. So. <laughs> Until the next morning. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> until the next morning. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I wonder if he did. We should have looked on social media. Oh, there was a social media picture where he's like lounging in like the early morning sun, like with a cocktail yeah, and sunglasses. You're yeah. kidding me. No, I'm not. I'm not. And he's like out on a balcony. And I, I was love like, him. There it is. I love him. Yeah. That's he's it. Into the movie. I know. Has anyone seen it? I haven't. You know what he did? Yet. Like, can we shout out Lincoln Graves? 
Lincoln yeah. said that he wanted Parasite to win big and be, win best film. Yeah. He thought it would be 1917, but it, but it was indeed Parasite. Lincoln, wherever you are, man, you are. You're, a <laughs> you're a winner. Okay. <laughs> Did you have any uh, surprise moments? Because I had a big one. I thought um, for sure when he said about the winners that you'd be announcing that you can watch the Oscars still. Because of <laughs> oh, the that's right. I did announce, Robin, did you know about this? No, no I had this me. big campaign, a big announcement that I would never, ever, ever, ever watch <laughs> the Oscars again if Joaquin Phoenix did not win Best Actor. Oh. Whew. So it's safe yeah. to say. The Oscars are safe oh in the goodness. Chamber's home again. They live another year. They live another year. But one of the most surprising moments of the night for me was this one. Eminem. Yes. Eminem. Uh, me too. Oh me my too. gosh. I would have said the same. Did you have any idea that he was going to no. come out from underneath the stage? No. no I heard idea. that I heard that they kept it a uh, complete secret from even the people, the crew. Most wow. of the people didn't know anything about it. Wow. Which well, I it think is hilarious. I think it's hilarious though when they pan the audience and people are like trying to mouth the words. Oh, totally. And they don't fully get it. And you can kind of tell the generations. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're like, oh, they grew up in Eminem. They're new to Eminem. Yeah, totally. It was funny because you know, they seem like they always catch them right when they're not getting the lyric right. Oh, right. They right, probably right. had yeah. all the lyrics yeah. right up until the camera got yeah. on and all of a sudden it was like, <gasps> and then it's like no, 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 we got oh. one shot. Yeah. So, no. Mom's spaghetti. <laughs> I know we want to hurry up and get to the fashion, yes. but we have to shout out Brad Pitt. We do. Finally we winning do. an acting Oscar. He Good had one Brad. already for uh, producing 12 Years a Slave. That's right. But this one, I mean, and he got, he, he was emotional he in the way. He had me in tears yeah. a little bit. Yeah. I had, to, I had to text our executive director and producer yeah. and ask if he was uh, crying. Denary just loves this movie, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. He was really well rooting for Brad. Yeah. And I'm glad he got the win. Yeah. And then there's Laura Dern. Yes. I was excited. Did you see Marriage Story? Anybody see Marriage Story? No. I yes. did, and I can totally see why she won. And then she, um, she, she gave an emotional, thankful message to uh, to her parents. Yes. Let's see if we have that. And you know, some say never meet your heroes, but I say if you're really blessed, you get them as your parents. I share this with my acting heroes, my legends, Diane Ladd and Bruce Dern. <laughs> you got game. I love you. Thank you all for this gift. This is the best birthday present ever. I love you. I love my friends. You lift me up every day. Thank you. media because it's it's dear to me i have three daughters yes. i have a husband yes. who struggles trying to figure out what to help do with their hair and embrace their natural tresses yes. and it's a lot and it's a lot when society is trying to tell you how you should wear your hair yep. and the fact that that one matthew cherry and his partner there i was like i think i cried a oh bit i was bawling yeah did you really yeah and i and i posted it on my insta stories yeah. because i thought what they said was so important and amazing and it just was on point and right. i just i i was moved i thought so, it was great Yay. support the crown act for yes. people to wear their Please. natural dresses and embrace them okay all hail to the fashion <laughs> all hail i don't even know where we're starting are we just throwing up some pictures because there's so much to see there really is i know you had some some people that you felt were better dressed than others yes it was kind of weird though didn't you feel the red carpet was kind of everywhere there was like no, i felt like there was no thread mm -hmm. people were just doing anything and it made it interesting so there was some good out of that and then there's some not so good so who do you feel is best dressed? I really thought at the top was Cynthia Erivo. I thought oh. she was at the top. Scarlett Johansson killed it, I thought. And then a surprise favorite of mine was Brie Larson. She had like a champagne. Yes, she did. Uh, stat statuesque like, dress with on with a cape. And it when she came out on stage, stunning. It was just so beautiful when she came out with Sigourney Weaver. There she yes. is. And there she had like perfect on her body. You know, perfectly What did you think, Kara? For my favorites? Yes. yes. I really liked Renee Zelliger and Regina King. 
I met Regina King, and then she was the first one you saw, you know, as far as with Brad Pitt. And I'm right. like, I'm not even listening to Brad for a little bit. I'm just like, so mad. <laughs> like, I want to see the dress again. I want to see the dress again, yeah. you know? And uh, I just thought that one was absolutely stunning. I don't know if we have a picture of her, but in the pink. Yeah. Yes. It's just a beautiful and her, soft. The way that it, it, does, it allows you to see her silhouette, Regina King had also with uh, some attitude flaring from yeah. the side. I don't know exactly what this is, yeah. but that's what it well, made me feel like when I saw her. That's Regina's sweater. Is that Regina? That's, that's, that's just that Regina. <laughs> you would put her in a paper bag and show her a little bit sweater. This is yeah. what I'm talking about. She knows how to work a dress. The silhouette. Mm -hmm, totally. I mean, her body's amazing, mm -hmm. obviously. But then look at all this this sassafras yeah, on the side. Beautiful. I love she it. She beautiful. knows how to wear a dress. I love it. Just beautiful. And then I thought Renee Zellweger was just classic. Was just she was all I think we should really take hers. Because I was like, yeah, I was like, oh, that's a dress. It's too predictable. No, it was great. It was just a classic, right? especially the win, you know, the, the actress award. It was really it's very classy. I yeah. liked it a lot. I did. I I will say though, I wish that she had even just a little earring. Right. She has like something. no jewelry yeah, on true. at all. Yeah. You're right. You're just right. a little, just a little something, something. A little stud or something. Yes. Yeah, because that was very significant on the red carpet. Was the the necklaces and the earrings very vintage throwback Hollywood? Almost every actress wore a necklace last night. So it was, and I could see where her dress wouldn't need one, but yeah, some kind of earring. Yeah, a little earring. Like, she doesn't have her ears pierced. That could be. Well, girl, Don't you look on those. Those. Jerry Maguire. <laughs> 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 but no, and she, she, of she course, winner for Judy. Yes. So big time. I mean, she just looks like her. She looks like an Oscar. Yeah. 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 She came on the red carpet as like she dressed to win. Like you can tell mm -hmm. it's like, okay. I'm not going to take a win. risk. I'm just going <laughs> to, you know. Yes. Okay, yeah, so real quick, we only have about 30 seconds okay. left. Don'ts. What were your show not happenings? Um, <laughs> sure, sure, Ronan. Was yes, was, I have to agree. From was Little pretty Women. That was too bad. bad. Yeah. I thought that was that was at the top of my list. Yeah. And then um, Greta Gerwig, she kind of had like this weird greeny. What was going on there? Like, she had emerald earrings that didn't match, so that one was kind of a miss for me because she's like the only woman director in the running. You know, I just right. wanted her yeah. to be more like just, just I don't know. Drab. Yeah, a little prom. That's not near as bad as Billie Eilish. Yeah, but... You don't like Billie Eilish's? You know, well, yeah, I, like, I, I don't think I count Billie Eilish as yeah. being yeah. really on the red... No, she yeah, just, like, gets a dinner her own. She's in her own, like... Lane. Lane. Yeah. With and she's she's <laughs> very Grammy. Like, this is still like a Grammy. I almost yes. feel like they brought the, a lot of Grammy moments into the Oscars. I agree. I agree. She sounds amazing. Though. Oh, I yeah. I like been surprised, though, by her a little bit. Like, I feel nice. like that's been the same. That's true. For the we could go nice. on and I wish we, we had a whole show. Actually, I'm going to campaign that we have our Me own too. after <laughs> the Oscars show on ABC. That would now be awesome. That way we can just do our thing. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. All right. And you look fabulous, by the way, darling. You too. All right. So coming up next, you want to stick around because Kara is actually taking over the kitchen with something sweet. I'm sweater. I'm going to have to join you because you're going to be in there making that red velvet banana pudding. Don't go away, you guys. We'll be right back. It's going to be good.